the Bible and the Quran. But unfortunately, the trends are tough. Community leaders, the human being itself is the problem. Poverty. I tell you. You know what is psychological hunger? Psychological hunger is when you know you are starved. You are starving. You are meant to eat three square meals as students. I know that in all sense of modesty, it's zero zero one or one zero zero or one zero one. It depends. Then others who are in the social economic bracket, they do the one one one. But the point I'm saying is for those who do zero zero one. When you are going for your meal, you are not sure of the next meal coming. The moment, no matter how much food I provide for you, because I am paying for it and you know you can't get the next one, as you are demolishing that, you are finishing that food, you are automatically getting hungry. Because you are not sure. That is psychological hunger. It affects your mental state. And that's the situation. We have put our people in the oil and gas communities in line with what you call the companies. But something there is no friendly news for you now. Even as it is, the more the people are getting aware that things, dangers have been done to their humanity, what have they decided to do? They have decided to do something. The more they are aware, the companies themselves are trading planes. And what are the plans the companies are trading? Without mentioning any. To do for the federal government. And the federal government is failing to do what they are supposed to do for the communities. But then we ask the questions. For those of you in football, students, you will discover that there is what you call corporate social responsibility. Why don't you do your little bit of humanness? Why what the government is supposed to do should be done. But unfortunately, I give you another example. I have I have not established that by fact as a, a scholar and a scientist, you must verify your facts. Is it true that some people out of the sense of you know what you call corporate social responsibility, the CSR, will want to tell that point? And indeed, I'm almost done, my brother. You gave me too long the time. But I know so, and so I decided to. Because my vice chancellor has been here all night. And so I know she will attend to so many. I'm, I'm tidying up the entire exercise. I'm only telling you this very complex and multifaceted challenge. This paper has aimed to shed the light. You get the papers. I wrote about 17 pages. I had to trump, you know. Kick it down to whatever. But I think at the end of today, I will have to publish this paper together with those in uh, the directorate of uh, GST and uh, entrepreneurship. In conclusion, peace and conflict resolution between those communities and oil and gas communities in the Nanya Delta presents a complex and multifaceted challenge. This paper has aimed to shed light on the topic from a humanistic perspective. Emphasizing the intrinsic value and dignity of every individual involved in the conflict. By adopting the humanistic approach, stakeholders can foster understanding, cooperation, leading to sustainable peace. Okay, so please, we can be seated. Now we're moving to a, a session. Try to session. to the topic of today. So if you have this, you can come out, come forward here to ask your... So what is the official or academic or political definition? Of and then, uh, when you say the political definition of uh, or the official conceptualization of what the Niger Delta is. It's simple, the nine states, the nine states are Niger, I mean, 
in terms of, listen, my definition, the nine states that produce oil and gas organized by legislation. You know, many things are happening, and one of such is even emanating from the Nanga Delta Post Committee. That's one strand of consent everywhere. So I think uh, there are... Are we really saying in the Niger Delta, sorry to use that word, between the contractor and the community. And sometimes the community may hold you hostage if you are not careful. We've had... I'll give you just one brief story. 180,000, he said he brought 80,000. And that was what they presented to the community. These are exact money they came made of bamboo. That is the way they live. And if you Oh, my God.